Hello and welcome back to my channel. I just want to share with you a little review on this LA Colors palette that I picked up from Wonderful World. This is the 16 color eyeshadow in um, Smokin'. There are the colors there, 16. Um, they look to be all kind of shimmery. And this was, I believe, TT 30 TT dollars. And um, I was requested to do this review by Yanni Budable, Nicole, because she was thinking about um, getting it. And I used it a few times, maybe three times. Yeah. Um, I swatched the pink. That's the light pink. I swatched that. I did um, the purples and the green and I posted that picture on the Caribbean Makeup Lovers group and to be honest I'm not too impressed with it yes it looks lovely it swatch really nice as well but the application on the eyes um, is not exactly what you see here let me do a couple of swatches still. So that's this green here. And then I will transfer it here. That's what you get. I'm gonna do the blue. This blue on the end here. This is very powdery as well. And the problem I have with it, well, not really much of a problem, but that um, when you put your primer on and then you put these eyeshadows and you blend, it kind of blends away. So you're not getting the full impact of what you see here, which is what I wanted. But if you just want a light wash of color, it's fine. But um, honestly, for the price of $30, and in just swatching some of them, they're so powdery, it looks like it will finish fast. Let me swatch this, this color here. Because I like colors like these. You can see how kind of chunky it, it becomes in the swatches. Maybe um, if you use the finger application or something, um, because when I use my brushes alone, it kind of blend away and I didn't get the full color. But um, I use uh, the little swabs that we throw away, the little sponge tip. I use that and I got a, a much better application. I'll post a, a picture of the look I did with um, the green. But I have to say it's very intense. Look at this black, black there. Very intense with the swatches, but they don't transfer well. And then too, when you use your brush, it tends to blend away. But um, you know, it's, it's LA colors. It's not too too expensive. it wipes away very easily so I'm not too sure about the complete um, staying power of them I, I still like it yes but I mean I recommend that you get it I also bought another one but I didn't try it yet. this is the sweet one more neutral colors in this one. I didn't try this one as yet. But maybe if it was um, like 25 or less, my review would be completely different on this. But um, I'm still using it. 
and I, st I still do like the color selections here but um, I was a little bit disappointed in the application on the eye I tried it with two or three different primers um, I tried it with the um, the last thing I used was the NYX Basin Milk and that so far gave the best application but um, with me I had a bit of itching afterwards with the amount of color I packed on and um, I kept it on whole day I had some itching I'm not sure if it's this but if it is then that's a problem but all in all is is a really nice palette it's attractive to look at really nice selection of colors and uh, it's really up to you if you want to try it or not and this was purchased at wonderful Wood. so I think that's all I want to say <laughs> about this palette um, I might try out the other one and see if I like it better I also got another one and I'll do that in the wonderful world haul I have coming up so stay tuned for that <laughs>